Welcome to Marco Rock TV. I am Marco Rock, your host of Inside a Grey Mind, and today I'm so thrilled for my guest, Mr. Van Dim. Van, how are you? Hello, Marco. Always good to see you. Awesome. I'm so excited because we're talking about your upcoming book, The Power of Asking. I just love so much the title. Thank the you. The Power of Asking. Yeah. And you know, sometimes in life as entrepreneur, business owners, or whatever, we fail to ask our way to success. So that's what we're gonna dig into today. So who do you think will benefit the most from this new book? From this new book? So the book, The Power of Asking, How to Ask Your Way to Success is designed for everybody. Normally I focus on service and salespeople. But with this particular- Is that because you're like a sales genius? I love sales, <laughs> yeah. I'm a service junkie and I love sales. So this is for fifth graders all the way to 90 year olds. I Whoa. mean, it's for everybody okay. that wants more out of life. And like you said a minute ago is, you know, we don't ask enough for what we want out of life. So this book, The Power of Asking, is not just about how to ask and receive, but it's also how to be that person that people want to help. How to be that person. How do you become that person, though? Well, to me, no one's going to help somebody that isn't deserving. Okay. In my opinion, if somebody's not friendly, if somebody's not respectful, um, I'd have a real tough time wanting to go out of my way to watch that person succeed. Um, so being that person is someone that is passionate, someone that cares deeply, someone that treats people extremely well, somebody that has a strong work ethic. You know, I've been around a lot of people that just ask and they expect. And, you know, they're not the type of people that you're like, you know, you haven't done anything. You don't work hard. You're lazy. You don't treat people well. So it's kind of sometimes also is nice uh, to maybe give a little bit before you ask. Right, you, know, yeah. you want to be like that you, person yes, yeah. that people want to help. And we live in a great, you know, community. We, we, this, is, this is a wonderful country where people want to help people. Yeah. So can just anyone ask? Or has to be a certain person who asks? You know, you, you've got to be passionate. It's just like, you know, activate your untapped uh, potential. potential. Yeah. One of my favorite books written by you. <laughs> Thank you, know, you. You've got to be that person. Um, I like to I like to help people that are passionate. Yeah. You know, I get I'm sure we all get lots of phone calls from young entrepreneurs that say, "Hey, I want to be this. I want to do that. I've got a great idea. Would you have time for this or that?" And we want to help people that are passionate about. Certain what things, they're yeah. asking yeah. for, yeah. you know, we yeah. want to get behind those people. Yeah. So can you give me like one or two examples of that you have asked for something that have contributed to your success today? Well, I'll tell you, you know, I'm, I'm a little goofy. And <laughs> you so, are. Yeah. So, and I'm, and, 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 you know, I celebrate being a little goofy. I think it's fun to be goofy, but so my first real job, I had to ask for it. Now you this, had to ask for your job. I had to ask for my first job. Can you, can you elaborate? Yes. So, you know, I went to Dallas, Texas after I was done with my schooling in Omaha, Nebraska. And um, moving forward, I wanted to work for a home builder. I wanted to go work in real estate. I was right out of college. And I called this home builder that was huge in Dallas, Texas. And they said they weren't hiring. And I and to mail in my resume. And I I didn't want to do that. I I wanted to go drop my resume off. So I stopped and I got a a, a, a suit at a used clothing store, a three piece. I don't believe that, man. A used <laughs> yeah, because I only had I had like five hundred bucks in my pocket. Okay. And so uh, it was a used three piece suit for uh, for a hundred dollars. I went to the corporate office and I asked the receptionist if I could please speak with one of the four area managers of Dallas-Fort Worth, because I did my research. That's been bold. Very bold. And she says, I'm sorry, sir, they're not, 
we're, we're not hiring, um, but you can give me your resume and I'll give it to one of them. And I said, you know what? I said, I just want to say hi to somebody. So I'll just wait here. And she goes, I said, can I wait here? And if somebody has one minute to say hi to me, <laughs> no, that's just weird. I go sit out in the it's, lobby. It's just it's weird. <laughs> it's very weird. Um, so just I go to say hi. Yeah, so I go sit out in the lobby, and I was there three hours. And finally, some lady, tall woman with lots of presence, peeks around the corner with a smile on her face, and are you Van Deeb? And I said, Yeah. I uh, am. Yeah. And so she said, uh, Come on back. And so long story short, she sat down with me, she read my resume, and she started, she started kind of laughing. And uh, she goes, this all the sales experience you have? And I said, that's it. And what I had written in my resume, because I didn't have any help, I didn't have any mentors. Yes. It said in there uh, that I was the king of the carnival at Mount View Elementary in Omaha, Nebraska for selling the most carnival tickets in second grade. <laughs> that's, that's just hilarious. And that's all I had for experience. <laughs> Your resume. So long story short, she said, you know, I'm really enjoying meeting you, but we're not hiring. And then I just said, if, you've, if you have a position open, I will, I'll make you proud. Long story short, she found a position. I was hired. And if I wouldn't have asked, now that's, I've got a ton of those stories in my book, but the stories in the book are not to impress you. They're to impress upon you that if I can do it, you can do it. That's amazing. Yeah. So what do you recommend to people wanting to be successful in general? You know, don't be afraid to try new things um, and get involved in the community work hard, be, be known as somebody with a great work ethic. Um, get involved in the community with charity, with helping people, um, and be around the right people. You know, as well as I do, because I've heard you in one of your speeches talk about we're the average of the five people that we spend the most time with. So to these people that want to be successful, make sure you're spending time with the right people because there's so many wrong people that will bring you down and you're trying to go that way and they're going to bring you this way. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. So there's some people out there, they're really shy. How can they ask their way to success if they're not outgoing, if they don't have they just have a fear, like I can approach Van Deep. What are the tactics, strategies that that person who is introvert can use to ask their way to success? Well, shy people can change if they want to, and it's practice. It's baby steps. You know, I would tell somebody that is reluctant to get on the telephone, that is reluctant to go put their hand out and say hello to a stranger, I would say practice. I would say don't expect to be good at it right away. Take baby steps and assert yourself because if you don't, it's going to be tough to be successful. It's almost like keeping your profession a secret. If you're too shy to talk about what you want to be and your goals and you know your career, how are people going to get on board? So. I know for a fact, every shy person can overcome that when it comes to business. Okay. Everybody can if they want to. They want to, yeah. So part they can hire me as their coach. I'll help them. <laughs> <laughs> so part of asking also is to know people. Um, so how one uh, become a networker or build a healthy professional relationship? You know, Marco, that's a great question. I'm a big fan of getting involved in networking groups. Um, but I say be selective. You know, go around and be a guest at some of these networking groups in whatever city you're in and see which one you fit best in. But that's, then you're with like minded people. You're with people that are doing the same thing you are. They're trying to um, meet people in the, and and make more acquaintances, contacts, and future business opportunities. 
but really be careful on which networking groups you go, that you get involved with. Make sure that they're legitimate people that want to succeed. Once again, being around like-minded people. So what are your major goals that you want people to get out of this new book? I know you have some big plans coming up, some tours, yes. uh, some different events coming up. So what exactly do you want people to get out of it? So my number one goal in the book, The Power of Asking, is to make sure that anybody that wants to succeed in life gets a copy of this. And um, I want to see, I want people to send me an email or a phone call um, three months after they read it saying, this helped me elevate my career. I started doing things differently than I've done in the past and I've become more successful. That will make me feel like I've really completed my journey. The more people I can help accomplish their dreams, because I've accomplished my dreams, I've accomplished my goals and dreams and I'm not done yet but it's because of the content in the power of asking. And I want to see those same, I want to see those people experience what I've experienced. So where can people find, want to find about the book or more about you? Well, right now they can purchase it at vandeeb.com. Vandeeb.com. Yes, um, Vandeeb.com. They can purchase the book right now. That's awesome. Or they can, you know, I'm on Facebook and stuff like that. But what would be your last tips, advice to my viewers? Well, to your viewers, my advice would be listen to what you say. <laughs> because Marco, you're an authority and you're you're a mentor you. mentor to me. Also, I I love reading your information, your books, and in your speeches and uh, I'm grateful for you. Thank you so much. Um, but you know my advice to people is, is to realize that every day is a gift from God. You should wake up in the morning and be thankful that you woke up in the morning and you want to live a life of gratitude. The more grateful you are for the small things, for the simple things, the more people you're going to attract and the more opportunities will be coming into your life. Awesome. Mr. Van Deep, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. I appreciate you to be on the show.